Hello, I would like to present to you the Virtual World Builder Toolkit, which allows us to generate uh, such 3D virtual world out of the specification. Uh, the specification we're talking about is a specification of the virtual institutions, uh, where we are uh, looking at the performative structure, where we see some activities represented as these uh, blue uh, rectangles, and these activities are rendered as uh, 3D spaces of room in our uh, 3D virtual world. Um, the whole system is uh, programmed over the Shape Grammar Interpreter, which is our tool uh, which we use to interpret 2D shape grammars. All the information needed uh, for details on Shape Grammar Interpreter can be found on this page, uh, sourceforge.net projects SGI interpreter, where we can download this application, we can download the source code, uh, there are some videos available as a tutorials and uh, some manual. Okay, now we take a look at the interface of our Shape Grammar Interpreter. We see on the left we have a list of rules and list of shapes. We have uh, uh, our uh, working, uh, working space, some editors. We have some list of tools currently not available. Uh, here we have our small 3D preview and we, here we have some uh, list of properties. Okay, let us now start with the definition of the of such uh, of such virtual virtual world grammar. Virtual world grammar is a concept which allows us to go from these um, uh, from the specification of the institution into this fully rendered three D world. We need some basic information which can be uh, uh, modified uh, on these five little tabs. So we define all the general properties of the virtual world grammar. Here we have a, a display of the currently used ontology. Here we define some uh, information over specification elements. Here we have some. Here we define the instances of the specification elements, and here we define uh, validation terms of the of the execution. Um, to go more into the detail, please take a look at the the, the paper uh, that's coming with this with this presentation. Uh, so. Now, uh, the nice approach, the nice thing which comes from this approach is that we can use different shape grammars to generate the same institution which allows us to basically uh, make skins or make different possible designs of the, of the one institution. So let us load this simple, uh, very simple grammar. As we close this, we save this, and now if we take a look, we have some rules and we have some shapes. We have very simple outline shape, which is this uh, this uh, rectangle, the room shape, and then we have some some uh, rules. We have initializing rule, which puts room into some into uh, some position on the uh, in the outline shape then for the demo purposes we delete this one and we uh, keep only this one rule which basically the left side of the rule to the left side of the rule which is this room it adds uh, room to the next to it now when we start generating such such world we see that we are nicely adding uh, rooms next to each other. But suddenly we fail because there is no possibility to add rule to some other position. So we create we create new rule which we say out top. And we add this room to the left and right side of the shape of the rule. So now we turn on the grid. And to the left side of the rule, we add this nice right side of the rule. Now, when we reset this and we start generating, we see we are fully using the, the, the space of the institution. Now we can render the 3D representation, we maximize this, and we see we have basically generated the outline of the 
uh, rooms we will be using. There are some default textures and whatever. Let us now um, make this a little bit more uh, better looking. So now we can add some, for example, uh, we'll make the outline look a bit nicer by adding, for example, two trees. So we can go, we can show the 3D models. Let's put them next to the rules. And we'll take, uh, this is our library of uh, 3D, 3D models we can use. And we will take, for example, this Aspen tree and we add it, we add it here, a little bit modify it, and we try to uh, render current, current room. This allows us to render it. And we see we have this nice little Aspen tree next to this model. So we make it a little bit bigger. And we add another one. Put it here and make it even bigger. Okay. Now we render this one, this shape. Maximize this and make it. So as we see, it's really easy to to uh, to um, add models and uh, modify our uh, the output. So now if we render the full, um, if we render the whole thing, draw the 3D view. Now we see we have these trees and our institution. Okay, now uh, we'll take a, take a look at the, some properties we can modify. So, um, actually, let me take a look at this init room. Okay, this is what happened. We have um, accidentally moved this, uh, this whole model. So now if we re-render this, we save this and we re-render this. Boom. And now the result is as expected. So now we go to 3D view. Maximize this. We see we have trees in our institution. Perfect. Now let's take a look at some properties we can modify. We go to the outline shape, and here we see the position of the shape. Here we can change the model of the shape. We can uh, modify the uh, the height and width of the shape. This is the, the all the depending all the parameters we can basically change for the or the scaling or rotation or uh, whatever we need to do with this with this 3d model for example if you want to change this is a this is this will be generated as, as a wall and for example we don't want this we want to change the texture of this okay so this can be sorry this can be uh, also very easily modified that's great uh, making this uh, just loading a different different texture to it okay um, now let's take a look at this this more advanced um, this more advanced uh, example in this fish market grammar so we take we load this uh, uh, we load this more advanced example and here we as we saw when we render this uh there is some some chairs and how uh how did we accomplish this it was actually quite easy so in the beginning in this uh, outline shape we have uh, uh this area which is render uh, which is set not to render so its wall type is invisible and we use distribution rules where we into this basic shape we first add initialize the first chair and then when we say how the how this chair um, how this chair will be uh, how this chair will be distributed so this will be adding chair to the left or to the front and this is the institution again okay thanks for watching and have a wonderful day